now moving on to question number 10a find the rank of the matrix of the given matrix so in that matrix i have retained uh, the first row and i am affecting uh, the uh, remaining uh, three rows by using r1 so this is the operation for r2 r3 r4 r2 is r2 minus r1 r3 is r3 minus r1 r4 is r4 minus r1 so this is the matrix i got so next uh, further i am going to affect uh, these two rows by using r3 and r4 i am going to affect by using r2 so operation is r3 changes to r3 minus 2 times of r1 r4 changes to r4 times of r4 minus 3 times of r2 so therefore uh, r3 and r2 will be zero totally those two rows will be zero to row reduce the column form i will make this as uh, i i want to make this element as zero by using r1 so i will apply an operation r2 changes to 11 times of r2 minus r1 so i got this matrix by using this operation i got this matrix and i came to know these two are non vanishing terms and uh, non uh, zero row therefore i can say that the number of non zero rows are 2 therefore the rank of the matrix is 2 moving on to question number this carries 6 marks moving on to question number 10b uh given the system of equation uh, this is the consistency problem uh, required to find out no solution a unique solution infinite number of solution depending on the values of lambda and mu so i am going to find out uh, upper triangular matrix so this is what i have done r2 changes to r2 minus r1 r3 changes to r3 minus r1 so i got this matrix then to make this value as zero r3 minus r2 i have done i got this matrix so from this matrix i am going to define no no, no solution when we can say that no solution if rank a is not equal to rank of augmented matrix if now uh, lambda is uh, equal to 3 and mu is not equal to 10 we can say that uh, rank a is not equal to rank of augmented matrix if lambda equal to 3 have, uh, the rank of the matrix is uh, 2 the rank a is 2 Uh, if lambda is um, uh, sorry mu is not equal to 10 if mu is not equal to 10 the rank of augmented matrix will be 3 therefore 2 is not equal to 3 therefore we say that no solution to get no solution lambda should be equal to 3, 3 and mu should not be equal to 10 for uh, unique solution uh, rank a should be equal to rank of augmented matrix so i will say that uh, Uh, lambda should not be equal to 3 and mu should not be equal to uh, 10 or at least lambda should not be equal to 3 that is uh, therefore then i can say that uh, rank a is also equal to 3 and rank of augmented matrix is also equal to 3 therefore uh, rank a will be equal to 3 and rank of augmented matrix equal to 3 uh, we are going to have unique solution for infinitely many solution rank a should be equal to rank of augmented matrix but number of it should be less than uh, number of unknowns so i will uh, make sure that lambda equal to 3 and uh, mu equal to 10 to get uh, infinite solution then uh, the rank of the matrix is what 2 2 uh, is less than equal to number of unknowns since number of unknowns is 3 so that is the solution for uh, unique solution and infinitely many solution going on to last question question number 10c solve the system of equation uh, using gauss seidel method taking 0 0 as the initial approximation so the given uh, system of equation is not diagonally dominant first uh, we shall rearrange the system of equation how to rearrange see the column uh, see the column values here so if uh, whichever the largest value take that value to the first equation so therefore the second equation is uh, the largest value here 20x plus y plus minus uh, 2z equal to 17 i'll make that as uh, first equation then look at uh, the second column here this value is the la largest value then third equation will be converted to the uh, second equation the remaining uh, the first equation will be move, move on to third equation so after rearranging the system of equation i will find out x y z i will redefine x y z as like this i will rewrite x y z as like this so after rewriting x y z start with the initial approximation x equal to 0 y equal to 0 z equal to 0 so i got x1 putting x equal to 0 y equal to 0 z equal to 0 i got x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 x3 y3 z3 
x4 y uh, this is uh, y4 z4 x make a correction y4 z4 therefore this is nothing but uh, the solution is 1 minus 1 1 is the required solution thus uh, the required solution for the given system of equation is 1 minus 1 and 1 my dear friends i think uh, you like this video if you like this video kindly do subscribe to my channel uh, and share this video to your friends and all the very best for your exam thank you all